Okay, today's experiment is with a Slayer Exciter, and I'm going to use a coil design based on work by Slider 2732. Now, his coils differ from most coils I've used in the past, uh, in the fact that they're very small and they use a fine gauge wire. This one uses 40 SWG, and it's taken three weeks to wind because it was so fine, and I just wound it a few turns each day, and I finished it yesterday, and uh, I've done some tests with it, and the plasma which it produces is quite remarkable. And I've got it next to a cup there, so you can see the, uh, the scale of the thing. And uh, it's relatively small compared with uh, some of the cores I've used in the past. But uh, it works really good. But before I get onto the plasma, I just want to show you uh, something which you need to think about really when you're making these circuits, which maximizes your power. Because basically, it's what I found out today was how you route your power wires makes all the difference. Now, I've got the uh, coil here sitting in a circle of wire. And the circle is made up from uh, the positive wire coming from the adapter and it comes around here and I've got it connected to another crocodile lead and it goes up to the collector of the transistor which is an MPSA06. Now the emitter of the transistor is this black wire here and it goes to the negative of the wall adapter and it's forming a circle, you know, a horrible circle, it's all over the place, you know, but it's going around the L1 here and that is actually forming an L1 coil, believe it or not, even though it looks as if it's a dead short to the uh, adapter. Now I can switch the wall adapter on and you can see the circuit's gone into oscillation. Now if I move that pot to the other side of the green wire, which is the positive, the light's gone out. So I'll move it back inside, light on, light off. Now, the reason why I say this makes a performance increase is if you route your wires together as in a twinned pair, you're going to be fighting against your L1 coil if you have an L1 coil around here. You want to actually uh, have them going in the same direction as the coil as if it's part of the L2 coil, if you know what I mean. And if you have them as a twinned pair, you're fighting against it. I can demonstrate that now by just lifting that wire over as if it was twinned with that wire there and the light's gone out. So you need to consider your uh, power leads as part of your, uh, your L L2 coil, sorry. I think I mentioned L1 before. So that's the first part of the video. And I can show you this lighting of fluorescent tube. It's actually got quite a bit of the power considering it's a direct connection from the, uh, the positive to the collector. Here's the fluorescent tube and that's lit. So uh, I just thought that was interesting, and this has actually increased my plasma today. So uh, it's something you need to consider when you're making these circuits, because all the little things add up. Okay, on with the plasma. Okay, we're set up for plasma now, and I'm going to use an L2 coil, which is this blue wire here, and it's bell wire, 0.6 millimeters, and there's four turns there. And uh, I'm using a BD139 transistor, and it's got a heat sink there. Now. I'll switch it on now, and the plasma this produces, I'm going to put, use 12 volts on this wall adapter, uh, it's quite amazing. So it's on 12 volts now, and it's emitting plasma, and I'll just move this uh, coil up the uh, L1 coil, and then it will go into its uh, highest output part, which is there. There, and it's actually so powerful it's uh, breaking out of the sides of the wire sideways it's breaking through the uh, insulation you've got to be careful when you do this because if you touch this blue wire to the side it burns through and uh, I've already had to put into, uh, some nail varnish on it once today. But uh, this BD139 transistor is a really, a really good, good one to try. But that's just breaking through sideways from the, uh, from the wire. So that's the uh, BD139. Now I've just changed transistors uh, to a BC547. 
which is another uh, really good transistor and it's so cheap that one it's not as uh, strong as this one I think this is the BD139 is rated at 1.5 amps and the BC547 is not nowhere near as high as that but it doesn't half work good but uh, I'll just swap the transistors over and uh, see what you think okay this is the BC547 and it comes in a uh, a very small TO92 package there and uh, it's a good idea to make a heat sink for these because they can't handle much uh, current and uh, the one I use is basically just a, a copper penny with a, a crocodile lead and you just clip the transistor to it like that and that works great so I'll just put that into the uh, circuit board and uh, fire it up see the LEDs uh, come on and one thing I didn't mention before was I've actually found that the uh, color of LED makes a difference to the output uh, red seems to work best uh, for me for the high output plasma so I've switched to that for the, uh, these experiments so I'll increase it to 16 volts and this is the uh, BC547 and this is uh, very similar to the BD139 but I'd actually say the output was greater with this one. But it's bursting out sideways again. It just vaporizes the uh, enamel on the sides of the wire. It's got so much power it comes out sideways. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm quite pleased with the way this coil is performing but it's using about uh, 250 to 300 milliamps to do this because I'm not interested in uh, basically economy at the moment I just want to see some good plasma like slider was getting and uh, this coil is doing it now I can produce it right down in, I've had it working off a, a wall adapter for a telephone like he had uh, even though I'd say his, his seems to be a bit more powerful than mine on the uh, low voltage but on uh, 12 volts this is uh, the best plasma I've ever seen for my own uh, production anyway okay okay here's a bit of a new design it's the uh, same slider coil and I've added a small L2 inside I think it's one two three four six turns and there's a ferrite rod going through the center and that's just sitting there and uh, I'll turn the uh, exciter on and uh, the plasma's off again blasting out the sides this is with the uh, BD139 so this uh, could be a quite compact design this because you could build that inside because I always find the uh, L2s on the side a bit messy so uh, it would be good to move uh, to a, a different design you know with the L2 inside the coil but uh, the plasma is really strong from this design and it's uh, coming out the sides again the wire is so fine though it's 40 SWG so I don't suppose the uh, insulation is as thick as uh, on the uh, thicker wire but uh, Nevertheless, it's uh, still good plasma. Okay, thanks for watching.